Oh, good job. Black tape up, black tape up a little bit. Nice. I told you this is the one. All right, babe, we just pulled up to the spot. I haven't been fishing with you in like months. Yeah, been... I'm working a lot. Yeah, but uh, today's target species is gonna be snook. We're gonna be using live shrimp. Here's what I want you to do. So right off this, this uh, seawall here, there's a bunch of rocks four feet out. You wanna cast like six feet away from the, uh, the seawall. You want the bait to like drift near the rocks and that's when you get the bites. I'll show you, mm -hmm. let's go. All right. Get our stuff, get down there, get set up. Got the shrimp. Whoa. Man, Bay Pines Bait and Tackle hooked it up today. They gave me like freaking six dozen shrimp. I only asked for three dozen. Look at that. Shout out to Bay Pines Bait and Tackle for, uh, for all the shrimp here. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go. All right, so it's outgoing tide. What we're gonna have to do is cast it up current that way and then let it drift. It's gonna put our stuff down right here. Let's get you, uh, let's get you hooked up with the shrimp. Decent shrimp right there. So here's the, uh, here, here's, here's, here's a tip. At this spot, it's crazy. They will only hit the, the shrimp if you hook it right underneath the horn, just like that. It's weird. Like they won't, they won't hit it if you, if you uh, hook them through the tail because it swims weird. But if you hook them through the, the head like that or underneath oh. the horn like that, it swims. It just swims better naturally. Here you go. That Thank one's you. ready. I'll show you what it casts in a bit here. Same deal, hooking them underneath the horn just like that. Let me show you what it casts. So watch, right here. Right there, just keep letting line out and just let that current um, take that, that bait. Perfect. Look at him, that's him kicking right there. When the snook hits it, he'll like, you feel a thump. There we go. Oh, he broke off. I felt that. Dang it. Were you tangled with mine? I felt it. Yeah, probably. First fish of the day and it came off. Gotta set the hook on it because uh, we're using a J hook today. Oh yeah. So when you feel a thump, definitely set the hook on him. But yeah, first, first snook, lost him. That's all right, we'll send another bait down there. I just got a really good bite and then my okay. shrimp was gone. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it a thump? Yeah. Nice. I'll take you. Yeah, there you go. It's perfect. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa, I just saw a snook. Are you still alive? Oh, that was a good hit. Got it? Oh, yeah. Oh, I see him. Let me roll up. That's okay, I'm man. stuck. Little guy? I'm stuck. Raise your rod tip. Okay. Raise your rod tip. I'm working on it. There we go. <gasps> Good job. Yeah. Alrighty. First fish of the day. Landed. Couldn't resist that shrimp. Let's swim it back in the water. Over here. Those are the size that, uh, that I've been getting here at this spot, just freelining shrimp to them. There's some, some bigger ones, a little bit bigger than that size, but no 30s here. Still though, a lot of fun on the live shrimp. Reeling the slack a little bit. Now look at the line. Keep it, keep it low. Okay. Keep it low so the wind doesn't take it. Reel it a little bit. Just look at the line. Reel in the slack a little bit because it's going this way. You don't want too much slack. We only slack a little bit. And you should be able to feel him if, if, if he hits it. But as soon as it gets close to the rocks, definitely reel in. Like it's not, it's not close to the rocks yet right now. Um, and usually they hit it like right here, right around here. If they're hungry. But that bird just stepped on my, uh, my other reel. You see how the, the line is like in the rocks right now? See it? I can't see the line. See, that's my problem. I keep losing the line. Look at the line in the water. We're gonna reel in because it's getting, getting a little close to the rocks. Okay. See it now? Yeah. I mean, sometimes you can see the shrimp right there. Sometimes these, these snook, they'll come up and just hit that, that shrimp just like that. Like see one following it? Nope. Yeah, he's definitely following it. He's, there's one right underneath him. Oh, on my rod. 
<laughs> yeah, we're, we're gonna go ahead and reel in slowly so he doesn't slam against the seawall and just, just repeat, just like this. Same deal. There you go. Actually, okay. let me Coach make another. Coach me as I do it, because the way I learn is by doing. Okay, hold on one second. Don't reel. Reel it, reel in the slack a little bit. I can't see the line in the water, but I can see it coming off the rod. Yeah, you gotta look at get the line in the water. I can't see it. Maybe step up a little closer. Right there. I'm shorter than you. <laughs> okay. You see it now? Yeah. So just reel in a little bit. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, sometimes it gets stacked up to my left here. Oh, good job. Lock tip up, lock tip up a little bit. Nice. I told you this is the one when I <laughs> cast it. <laughs> go over here, go, come over here, baby. Watch out for the rocks. Walk them all the way down here. Good job. <laughs> Kelsey back at it again, catching fish. <laughs> I'll help you. Yes, please. One he's second, here, me... he's here, he's in the rocks. Okay, open the barrel now. Okay. He's not that big, but. <gasps> Oof. Wow. My second snook ever. Look at him. He's, he's a little bit bigger than the last one, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. Hold on one second. Got him right on the corner of the mouth. <laughs> Owner SSW. <laughs> Good job, babe. Let me hold him. You wanna hold him? Yeah, sw switch. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Wow, here, take the rod. <laughs> good job. Look. Kelsey's first snook. Of the day. Yeah, good job. One, one and one. <laughs> About the same size. Hers is probably a little bit bigger, but it took the live shrimp. Let's put it back in the water. I called it when I cast it. I said yeah. this is the one. Yeah. Pa I don't want him to hit the rocks. Yeah, toss him, toss him past the rock. There you go, he's good. He's slimy. Good job. Uh. <laughs> Let's put it on any bait and uh, drift it out there again. Kelsey's lines are chafed up because of that snook. With their sandpaper mouth, they'll chafe up your uh, your line. You have to cut and retie because if you don't, you might lose that next fish that you hook up. So better be safe than sorry and just retie. We're using a a loop knot on these uh, these hooks. Using J hook because it's the smallest hook I have, and it's light. That way, when you uh, put a shrimp on, it's uh, it's it's light, and that shrimp can just swim around naturally. Because if you use a heavier, heavier hook, the shrimp will just sink and it's unnatural and it won't bite. Thanks. You're ready to go. We've been drifting the shrimp for like 15, 20 minutes after we caught that, uh, right after Kelsey caught that last one and we didn't get a single bite. We had to make the move because, I mean, we're not going to stay there if there's no bites in like, you know, 20 to 30 minutes. Nah. Um, the snook probably moved elsewhere. We didn't see him. So we're here at this new location. We're gonna start off throwing the artificial shrimp. Kelsey's gonna throw the DOA shrimp, glow in the dark. And then I'm probably gonna stick with the uh, live bait for now for a little bit and then I'll switch to artificial lure as well. And we're gonna see if we can't get on some trout over here. We got live crabs too in the, uh, in the bucket, but it's super rough out here. It's like blowing 15, 20 knots. It was coming out of the south earlier when we were fishing the last spot, but then when we got here, the, the wind direction switched to like southwest. So it's literally like coming from the side a little bit. So it's kind of hard to fish um, to, uh, casting to my left. So we have to face this this way and fish off the seawall here, which is not a not a bad idea because I've I've caught trout here off the seawall. I'm gonna go ahead and make a few casts, see what happens. Today, you see? There you go, fish on. There, you go. there we go. Oh, that was a that was a lady. Yeah. That was a, I thought that was a trout. Oh, there we go. There's the target species. That's a good fish right there. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Here we go. That's a stud. That's a, uh, he, he ain't all that big. He looked like he was a big one, but he's, he's all right. He ain't a stud. Keep a trout all day though. Oh yeah. One second, there we go. Good one there. Fat one, been eating good. Let's put him back in the water. See you, guy. 
He was like, let me out of here. Ooh, that water is super cold, man. Oh yeah, look at that. Bush got one too. Heck yeah, that's another, another stud. Yeah, they're out here, man. Another one, he's on a school, dude, look at him. Looks like Bush is on a school over there. All right, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to take Bush's spot. Yeah. There you go, right there. Oh yeah. It's a good one. They're fat. So they bite on the edge of, you know where the- Where the drop off is, yeah. I know, right? Right off the, uh, the rocks. Yeah, right there, right? Yep. Fun to catch. And that is how you catch snook when they are finicky. Persistent is key. Just keep tossing that bait up current and letting it drift to them and eventually one of them will take it. That's it for me. Hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, hit that like button, hit the bell notification, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.